All right, boys and girls, we're back here on the chassis shortening job for the Myers Manx. So today we're going to finish up getting the uh, spot wells drilled out in this section here. And then we're going to cut the bottom pan, cut all the tubes that are holding everything up. And we're going to actually try and slide these two together. So let's get to work. So we got all the spot welds out, broken free. We got our heater control cables cut down, our emergency brake tubes cut down and welded together. And these are welded, tack welded together. The emergency brake tubes go in between here, and get tack welded on, and the heater controls get tack welded on the side of this bracket. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cut like a little pie cut in here anyways to fold this out to meet here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it later on and just peel this back so I can get in here and weld those to it and then we'll put it down because that's got to happen anyways. So everything's loose. As you can see I've already moved it forward a few inches. Probably about three or four inches. And now I'm going to go get a come along or a ratchet strap to pull this forward and then this is going to overlap because here's where the cut is and then we'll mark it to cut it off. It's not going to make a perfect little X thing like I was hoping because the one they did in the article was a 10 inch shorter chassis instead of what's well, like 11 at like 10 and three quarters and this is 14 and a quarter 14 and a half so we're not going to be able to get that, unfortunately, but it will still look better. It's going to end up with a pair of bullets. These will come, and then we're just going to round off the ends, and it'll look good. And plus, mainly, we're lapping the bottom of the floor here of the tunnel to give it a strength, so it's not just one straight plane, and there will be a gusset on here later on. So anyways, I'm going to go find some straps, and we'll get this thing pulled together. All right, boys and girls. Got it uh, the same length from the Napoleon's hat to the torsion tube on both sides. And now I've done um, measuring some diagonals here. So I'm measuring off the front beam, the little support that goes to the body there. And I got a little um, punch in there just to give a little more area to sit on. It's actually riding on the outside of that little uh, boss. All the way back here to the rear body mount and on both sides I got 83 and an eighth of an inch so we're good on that. It's level side to side both pieces they're in the same plane going front to rear. So now we get to fix all this stuff. So I'm gonna probably gonna put like a tack Way. Put a tack right here just to hold everything on both sides because those are touching and then this is all going to get metal worked in. I might go and since everything's straight and level put a couple of tacks in the bottom here and maybe some across the tunnel there. Get that all in there and then I'll come back and tack my uh, e-brake tubes which are sitting in that little bracket. Yes I used the flux core it looks ugly but it doesn't need to be anything pretty. So I just need to tack those in there, tack in the heater control tubes that are right there. They just get welded to the bracket right over there. And then I can put the body on. My plan is to put the body on, get it centered on the front Napoleon's hat, and see where the support rails need to land and then probably tack them in with the body there. Pull the body back off, set my floor pans in, and trim them to fit. So that's what we're gonna be doing. All right, boys and girls, we've got it welded together. We've got, it is good on the diagonals, it's good on the levels on all the angles, the sides match. So can't ask too much better than that.
So now we got this welded. I still got to weld the seam on the bottom and the front, front here, but I'm going to flip it up on its side to do that. But right now we're going to put these doublers on here. And I thought about doing something fancy, making triangles and stuff out of them. I don't really think it's going to be a problem, so the triangle shape would give you a little more weld area, but whatever. I'm just going to weld them on the sides here, but i got to go to the store and get some more welding wire because I ran out. So I'll be back in the GIF. I'm always amazed at how much mess grinding does, you know? But that's all done. Well, not all mostly done. But we got the chassis out here. Let's get on this side so the sun doesn't mess with us. Alright. Got our doubler on there. Still gonna grind down some of the splatter and stuff like that. And Now I'm gonna flip it over and weld the seam of the chassis and put a doubler on that. And this should work pretty well. Everything is square as I can get it. And as level as I can get it. It's kind of weird. I've seen shortened chassis. I've shortened chassis before. But it's always amazing how much shorter they look when you first do it with no floor pans on them. They look really tiny. So, anyways, boys and girls, I'm going to get back to it.